Hey guys, so I've played a little bit more Modern Warfare 3 and I'm starting to understand what they've done with some of the semi-automatic gate or er, guns. And over here it's our replay because my I didn't record the game right apparently. And uh funny enough, replay doesn't actually go to you until you start. But you can also see some of the issues I'm talking about with the hill cam, because the replay plays like a kill cam. Now I'm using the Type 95 here, and if you use the Type 95 in the game, you know it doesn't sound like this, and it doesn't feel like this when you shoot it. And I think that's part of the issue with the kill cams, where I feel like I'm getting hit by a shotgun. Like, it's a semi-automatic, it shoots three bullets, but here it just sounds like it's kind of a semi-automatic one-shot. So, I don't really know what the deal with that is. But anyway, uh, I was talking about earlier how there's no more FAMAS. This is essentially the new FAMAS. The only difference is it fires a bit slower. But one of the things I found is there's actually a rapid fire perk for it. So what I like to do is throw rapid fire on it and all of a sudden I have this thing that's more ridiculous than the G11 and more ridiculous than the FAMAS at the cost of a perk slot. Um, but overall I think it is my favorite gun in the game. I would say it is the best gun in the game in my opinion. And I will probably be using this for a very, very, very long time until I find something else that tickles my fancy. Also, uh, one of the things I just recently realized is that the kill streak bar that you see on the far right bottom of my screen, you can actually skip kill streaks by going up and down on the D-pad. I learned that yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, finally!" Um, so that's kind of a, a bonus if you end up getting an extra kill streak, or you, like, let's say you want to drop yours one of your other kill streaks, but you want to drop your UAV first to see where to drop it. Now you can finally do that. So I think it's a nice addition. And uh, it seems like Call of Duty still has the same addictive formula where I just can't stop poning noobs. Like, no matter how hard I try, I'm like, let me just, you know, kill another hundred guys and laugh at them. And uh, I, that, this is a pretty good game I have going here. After I got this gun, I felt a lot more comfortable with the game because I was upset because the way the M16 played, I didn't... I'm assuming the M16 has rapid fire, I haven't checked the attachments, but that would explain why it is a bit weaker. Over here, ooh, you saw that? I was just like, he looks like he tried to noob to me in the back, I'm like, oh, twitch reflexes, teabag, tar roll. Now over here I know I died, because I, I try and get greedy and get two kills with the flash, and picking off the guy on the side, but just does not work in my favor. Um, overall, the maps, I find the main issue is you die from behind a lot. Like, it doesn't matter where you're going. You will die from behind. It does not matter. Even if you're in a corner somehow, the guy will just go through the corner and melee you. I'm just kidding about that. But point in case, the maps are very circular. All of them so far that I've played. And, I mean, there's points where you can post up for a little bit and, you know, take away some of the... Like over here, one of the choke points is on this alley that you'll see I'll pick up. Of course, off the hip. Off the heezy with that shot. Um... But over here, like I said, this is one of the choke points that you could get, and it, it really depends on how your team pushes spawns, because there's the same issue as previous Call of Duty's, where if you push their spawn too hard, they will spawn behind you, and you will get raped from behind. But with all the other maps, um, some of them don't really have many choke points, or many points where you could kind of post up and clear alleyways. So, it, like I said earlier, it results in you dying from behind a lot. Which can be frustrating, because you're like, oh yeah, I'm owning, and then guy gets lucky spawn behind me, so... It could be an issue, it could not be an issue, whatever. I think one of the big things is that as long as you find a gun that you like, you'll be comfortable with any Call of Duty. And so, like with, um, what's it called, Black Ops, one of my issues was I really didn't like any of the guns. Like, I had moments with them. I was fond of the Galil, but it was bleh. And then I finally unlocked the G11, and I went through all 15 prestiges, and finally when I had my G11 full-time, I was like, finally, a good gun. Um, and obviously I'm a big fan of the, the semi-automatic three-shot burst guns and I, I think that is because I'd like to think that I am somewhat accurate with my shots and otherwise I I enjoy spraying from the hip and not having the recoil that most of the full autos give you gives me a better opportunity to do that because I'm a giant fan of steady aim currently because I, I don't know if it's just me but I feel like footsteps are not as loud in this Call of Duty as other Call of Duties over here I go for the triple but I'm, I do not get it because I ran out of ammo on my Titan 95 um, but Overall, I like the standard 3-5-7 killstreaks here. I, I, I really haven't explored the other ones, and I think I'm just kind of pigeonholing myself here, because just reading the descriptions and the kill amounts for some of the killstreaks, they don't sound as attractive as previous Call of Duty, so I'm just sticking with the basics. Uh, I might drop UAV if I finally get some of my friends together in a party, just because support gets it at 4 kills, and other people get it at 3. 
And so if that happens, I might move up to like 579 like I used to do in Modern Warfare 2. As for perks, I'm using, um, what's the first one? Quick draw? Whatever the red one is that over here, I'm just like, screw this. I had a full clip of ammo and my Type 95, but he missed that so bad. I was like, okay, I'm going to even this out by whipping out my pistol. And here, the hip fire on this gun is just OMG good. That makes me so happy every time I fire from the hip. Because 9 out of 10 times, as long as I have steady aim, I'll hit him. And I, I do hip fire a lot with this gun. And I'm very comfortable doing it because of the fire rate. feels very comfortable and it's easy to get the crosshairs where I want them to go. So like I was saying, red perk is, uh, I believe, quick draw. No, actually, no, it's not. Red perk is stalker. Definitely stalker. And whatever the blue perk is, I think it's sleight of hand. There we go. Whatever the blue one is. If it is quick draw, if it is sleight of hand, that's the one I use. And then I have steady aim. Just because uh, I, I really don't, like I was saying earlier, I feel like footsteps aren't as loud, so I don't see the purpose of using Dead Silence. I don't have Dead Silence yet. And normally I was a big Dead Silence fan, killing this guy out of nowhere. But uh, Dead Silence, I, it's just footsteps don't seem as loud. And I know when you have Sit Rep Pro, footsteps get louder, which seems good. But the thing is, uh, I don't think a lot of people are using that, so I really can't hear footsteps too well. And for that reason, I don't want to use Dead Silence because I assume other people can't hear my footsteps that well. So I'd rather dedicate that perk to steady aim. Now for the weapon, it's obviously the Type 95 and I have the two weapon attachment uh, proficiency. And then I have the silencer and rapid fire on it. Um, I might go for the red dot here just because, I mean, the iron tires aren't horrible. They aren't great, but I, don't know, I like the stealthiness of the silencer. And in Modern Warfare 2, I use the FAMAS with silencer and red dot because rapid fire wasn't necessary. But rapid fire is a very, very nice touch in my opinion. And it makes this gun almost a full auto, but not quite. So, if you have a favorite weapon, leave it in the comment box. I'm curious what everyone else is rolling with. Uh, I really haven't heard a resounding this gun is OP yet, but I'm, I'm just curious what everyone's using, because I've heard the P90 is really good, but I haven't really touched it. I'm not an SMG guy. But that is all for this clip. It was a close game, 75-72. And I had... I think the last opposing death, but I still ended up 28 and 4, so it was a pretty good game, and I feel like I my gameplay has improved a lot just by using that gun because I'm more comfortable with that style of weapon. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll have more Modern Warfare 3 videos up soon.